So hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nerd video series on C++ and in this video we will learn about something very important which plays a very big role in industries. In real time scenarios you can encounter hell lot of problem. Because uh, I'll give you a simple example, let's say you are allocating or trying to allocate a memory which is not available in the system, like you ask for dynamic memories right? like malloc or new if it is not available in the system then what because it is always the case that you might ask something which is not available and another example is like there is an array or maybe vector or something its size is this much or limited but you are asking for beyond that size like it doesn't come under that particular vector or array then in that case what will happen so all these things wherever you see something going wrong all those things are captured and put under exception handling scenarios. So basically what happens, you have your applications main programs and you have exception handling programs. So they are basically two different parts and you move from one part to another part to just handle that exception. And let me tell you that why you use exception handling because if your system is encountering some issues what I just mentioned, in that case it will terminate. If it is encountering any exception and you have not handled that, it will terminate and you don't want that. You want to handle that situation. Let's say uh, you are asking for one GB of memory for some reason, then system will tell no, I don't have that much memory. Then you may go for maybe 750 MB or 500 MB depending on your situation. You might adjust, right? You just don't want to crash. Why would you crash there or terminate there? No, you don't want to terminate there. So things like this comes under this and let's see how we'll do that. So basically in this video we'll learn these two very important thing which is what problem it solves. So the biggest problem it solves is it won't let your program terminate. Okay so this is the biggest benefit you get from exception handling because it will terminate otherwise and how to use it. Let's look at that quickly. So the point is there are basically three keywords you should understand. First is try, second is catch and third is throw. We'll see these two in this video and throw I'll show in another video. So it goes like this. We have a try block and then just after try you have a catch block. Now here or maybe here you are calling some different function that also comes under here. So whatever is actually being called in this it can be like calling some function that function is calling somewhere else that function is calling somewhere else all those things will come under this only okay it's a quite big topic we'll take it forward slowly so let's say for simplicity i will tell you your array size was maybe two okay and it was just two you was maybe trying to access array size of maybe five and this is undefined behavior you don't know what might happen sometime if you'll compile it will work sometime i mean it you you might get zero or something but Sometimes it won't work because it is undefined behavior. So in this case, if you are going to access this and if it is STL array or STL vector, you will get exception. What is that exception? That is out of bond exception. So you'll get that exception here because you was trying to do something here and you anticipated that something can go wrong. So you are ready to catch here. Now you're catching that here and then handling here. And then the point is you can reinitiate this. So that's how you can keep trying and catching until unless you succeed. You won't end up terminating your application. So there are two things to understand here. One is try. Whatever code you are writing that should come under this try block. So you will have this starting in curly bracket and then whatever comes under this it can be cached here. And different different exceptions can be cached in different different catch blocks. So there can be many catch. I have a screen limitation maybe. No I don't. So if there is one type of catch here, let's say you was trying to access this array case, right? In that case, you will get out of bond exception that you can catch here. If this is not the problem, you can have another catch just addition to this catch. And you can write here like bad alloc because you was trying to allocate some memory and you was not able to allocate. So that exception would be bad alloc. So you can actually write bad alloc here and it will check. Okay bad alloc has to be cached. Is this catch block handling that exception? No, it is handling some different exception. Okay, I'll try another one. I'll try another one. I'll try another one. And in the end, you will write a generic one. So let's say you have this and this was for bad alloc, right? And just after this, you can write another catch. This C is small. Okay, here you will give three dots. So this means I will take 
any other exception whatever it may be if it is not listed above and keep in mind that if you will place this in the beginning itself every exception will go inside this because its job is to accept anything whatever comes so the best place to keep this is in the end so enough talk let's go and try to implement this in c++ program so this is your program here as i said we will create a vector we'll push one element in that and this is your try block and this is your catch block i'll just little bit segregate this yeah so that okay mm, here mm, okay so if i'll compile this and try to run this see it is telling okay we pushed one i'm printing one because this zeroth location is getting printed and it is printing no error and see it's catched is not coming here see and it's just saying i'm still alive now let me do uh out of range and yeah it's not out of bound it's out of range so if i'll go out of range then compile and then execute so this is going to show you a magic see now this time no error is not coming it is not printing one it's saying that it's catched here see no error is not printing because the moment it is trying to access one which is not available because we have only zeroth place element then it will throw an exception and remember this your vector and stl array will only throw exceptions if you are using at function otherwise it will just bluntly multiply that many blocks and it will just try to access that memory so this will give you an exception we are catching that exception here see i told you right we have to give the type of exception we are catching here because there can be n number of exception can throw from here and then you will have different different catches to handle different different exceptions so see it's catched it is printing it's catched and the beauty is i told you right the biggest biggest reason why you use exception is i don't want to terminate my application so it is telling that i'm still alive okay let me comment this try let me just do that i mean try and catch stuff let me just comment this comment this and this and this sorry not th let's see what will happen if i'll just compile this see now there is no try catch okay if i'll compile this now it won't show any error because it's a semantic problem it's not a syntax problem okay and i will execute see it is telling you this message that terminating due to uncaught exception it is telling you itself that the exception was not caught and that exception was out of range exception and see it is terminated meaning we are not able to print this meaning we are not able to go ahead we are not able to print this also so it is terminating from here itself so it's like boom gone but the same scenario if you have like this it is not terminating you are still functioning cool right and yeah one more thing is left i will show you that particular catch here and this is actually catch all block so we can print this is catch all block let me compile this i know it won't go there let me just run this it will still print the same let me comment this out we'll see all the flavors of this and if i'll run see it is telling this is catch block all block so now it is coming here before it was not coming because the suited or the best suited catch was before this so we throwed out of range exception and it got the out of range exception handling before itself so it is going here and then once it is entering into some catch it will not go to another catch so just remember that there is some mechanism like rethrowing because you have handled something and then you have to rethrow to some different catch block so that they can handle it because there can be multiple level of exceptions handling because at some level you have only some access because you are in some different classes or there can be a series of catch blocks to handle single exception because it can be very tricky so it's like you will handle some exception here and then you will throw from here i'll show you that through example video also i don't want to just increase the size of this video because it will be too much then so what we have learned from this video we have learned that exception handling is used for saving yourself from not terminating the application and another thing is you want to separate the error handling code from the actual code because it will be so messy to keep error handling code and the actual code together it will be very hard for the developers to understand the code if they are trying to understand and with this actually you get a whole list like what errors you are actually handling otherwise if you are handling errors then and there where it might come it can lead to a problem that you may have to write the same handling for different different places where you could have just simply written once and just throw from there and it will just 
come to that single place where it can get resolved otherwise it will be duplicated everywhere so this was just the introduction video we'll go step by step and try to understand or uncover everything under exception handling so then next time when you are writing a code in your company it can help you to actually place good exception handling scenarios and your architect or maybe if you are architect your senior manager will be very happy so with this note i'll thank you guys i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care